ladies and gentlemen. Nearly finished now. Your chance to get a beautiful present. Purchase a present for your father, a present for your mother, or one for your sister, or one for your brother. That's it. <laughs> Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this one now. A don't go, ladies and gentlemen. A chance to get for yourself a beautiful, original, hand-done drawing. But is it guaranteed original, I hear you ask, madam? Madam, I hear you ask. Observe the graphic detail, ladies and gentlemen. Observe the realism. You'd almost swear the ship was moving. Look at that. Get a present for your father, a present for your mother, one for your sister or one for your brother. Not a copy, sir. Only the genuine article here. Ladies and gentlemen, look. I had to learn to stand on my own three feet. Believe me, that's not fun. I'm Jake the Peg, diddly 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 with his extra leg, diddly diddly diddly. Wherever I go, through rain and snow, the people always let me know. There's Jake the Peg, diddly 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 with his extra leg, diddly diddly diddly. I was a dreadful scholar. I found all the lessons hard. Well, the only thing I knew for sure was three feet make a yard. <laughs> to count to ten, I used my fingers, and if I needed more, by getting my shoes and socks off, I could count to twenty-four. I'm just... To twenty-five, I'm Jake the Peg, diddly diddly diddly, with his extra leg, diddly diddly diddly. Whatever I did, they said was false. They said quick march, I did a quick waltz, and then they shouted at me, "Put your best foot forward!" But which foot? I said, "It's very fine for you. You only got a choice of two, but me." I'm Jake the Peg, diddly diddly diddly, with his extra leg, diddly diddly diddly. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. And now that I have your attention, allow me to show you now this authentic, genuine historical sketch, authentic and accurate in every minute detail. Look at the way that rigging is, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, a present for your father. Ladies and gentlemen, no. Yeah. Do it again, Grandpa. Well. I like your pictures, Grandpa, but I think the boat's beautiful. Do you? Well, I'm glad because that's the Northern Star. That's the ship that brought the little convict, young Toby Nelson, out from England to Australia. Skulls as well. And farewell to the well known old Bailey, where I always did cut such a swell. Singing to rely, rely, Eddie. Singing to rely, rely, Eddie. 
Singing to reliability And I'll see you in Botany Bay Four convicts locked up below legs. It was a terrible time. There's old Dipper. He was a pickpocket till he got too old and too slow and they nabbed him. And young Bill, or Silly Billy as his friends call him. <laughs> silly. <laughs> he stole a pig from a farmer and actually tried to sell it back to the farmer he stole it from. <laughs> There's a prize catch. Jack Doolan. Highwayman. He's the <coughs> guest of His Majesty for the term of his natural life. Still, he won't be lonely. Most of his gang's here. Big George Tompkins, the blacksmith. Oh, and the girl, pretty Polly Nelson. Transported for seven years. Same as her brother, young Toby. Thirteen years old. Can you imagine that? Thirteen years old and sent to New South Wales because he held a horse for a highwayman. If I had the wings of a turtle dove, I would soar on my pinion so high, slap bang to the arms of my Polly love, and there I would nestle and die. said we could have a couple of healthy ones from the next ship. She can help you work the farm. Farm, you call it. More like a desert. I need a hundred convicts to make that duck grow anything. As young as I used to be. That's the governor. He always goes down to meet the ships when he gets there. <laughs> He's never been on time yet. <laughs> They're here. Oh, splendid. They're coming off the ship. Morning, sir. Ma'am. The Northern Stars at the wharf, sir, and. Yes, Bertie, we know, we know. Lindsay, I can see them. At least a dozen fine, strapping convict gals. One of them must be able to cook. I'll go down and choose one directly. Oh, I'm so thrilled at last. Augusta, you can't simply go down there and... Oh, Lindsay, you promised. The convicts are ready for your inspection, sir. Pertwee, stop fussing. I'm coming. Lindsay, you're not listening to me. Lindsay! Lindsay! Oh, here he goes. Guard! Hey, up! His Majesty's representative, the Governor. <laughs> His Excellency, Colonel Lightfoot, Lieutenant Governor of the Colony of New South Wales. Captain McKinney of the Northern Star, with general cargo and convicts for His Majesty's Colony of New South Wales, sir. 
What's this lot like, Captain? Oh, the usual, sir. Rogues and scoundrels. The whole pack of them. Petri, take the convicts to the cattle yards. And hurry it up. Sergeant, take them away and hurry it up. Very good, sir. Can't have these here delicate creatures getting dried out by the sun, eh, Corporal? Oh, Sergeant, that'd be proper cruel, that would. Get a move on. You heard the Sergeant. Come on. Rogues and scoundrels, he called them. Here comes old Dipper Davy now. Fifty years of professional pickpocket. Silly Billy. Not gonna be easy for him. Now here's a fine figure of a man, Jack Doolan. Even though he's got all his friends with him, he's gonna hate being locked up, that one. And big George Tompkins. <laughs> Poor old George. He should have stayed as a blacksmith. Here's Polly Nelson. I've got a sneaking suspicion she's in love with George, but she hasn't told him yet. He certainly loves her. And little Toby. Get out of here. That's Bully Langdon. Sergeant Langdon to you. You heard the sergeant. Come on. And that's Corporal Wesley. They call him the weasel. <laughs> I wonder why. All down in the cattle yards now. Silence. All right, shut up. The lot of you. Now, if any free settler needs a female convict as a servant, he must apply to the governor's office this afternoon. I'm having this one. If she can cook and wash, she'll suit me very well indeed. Augusta, we already have six servants. And not one of them can cook. Let me tell you, sir, if I had known that life in the colonies was so, so uncomfortable, I would never have come. And furthermore, I'm tired and I'm hot and I think I'm going to faint. Oh, very well, madam. Take her, take her. Thank you, Lindsay. Come along, my dear. Polly, will you be all right? Of course, Toby. Don't worry about me. Get back, you. Boy, steady on. Easy, George. It won't do us any good. The boy neither. You wasn't a soldier. And I wasn't a convict. I'd pin your ears back and bounce you so hard. He can do it. He can lift a horse with his bare hands. Get your hands off. Right, get back. <laughs> Lift a horse with his bare hands, eh? I don't have to use my bare hands. All male convicts from the Northern Star will be assigned as farm laborers to settlers in the colony, except five men who will work here for the military. Sergeant, choose five men. Got them picked out already, sir. Corporal, show them the fireworks. Get moving. Frank, five new customers for you. Get on with it, Frank. Work with the men of the Iron Gang. Work with the men of the Iron Gang. 
together round for the telling of when we rode with a band of highwaymen. Tried for the robbing of the London Mail. <laughs> and we all finished up in Newgate Jail. Work, 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 work. Arms aching, bags breaking, work. Nothing but work with the men of the Iron Gang. Work with the men of the Iron Gang. Dragged us in and they stood us there with the judge looking down from his big high chair. I noticed the filling of his eyes with tears ah! as he sentenced us to 14 years work, 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 of work, making work, 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 work with the men of the Iron Gang, work with the men of the Iron Gang. They sent us away on a trip. In the bowels of a stinking ship After eight long months They lowered the sails And we first saw the light Of New South Wales And work, 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 work. Nothing but work, work, work Work with the men of the Iron Gang With picks in our hands And a chains locked tight We scorch in the sun And shiver all night Slave all day for his majesty ha! And it's never a thanks or a jug of tea Just heart aching, back breaking work Work, 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 work with the men of the Iron Gang Work with the men of the Iron Gang Will the day ever dawn for me That day when they set me free I'd never do nothing bad again if I lived to five score years and ten. Get moving. Bah. You've got work to do. Jack, catch him. I got you. Oh, oh. Billy, his other arm. We'll put him over there. Easy, easy. Over here. Mr. Dipper, are you all right? Oh. What's wrong, old chap? A pain. Gets me in the leg. Can't move. I'll be right in a jiffy. Oi. Uh-oh, here comes the weasel. What's going on, eh? Nothing at all, Corporal Weasel. Uh, Wesley. We thought we might have a little picnic. Watch it, Doolin. I told you no cheek. Corporal Wesley, fetch up your rifle on the double. Coming, Sergeant. What are they shooting at? Some poor convict, most likely. No, no. It's one of those big jumping things. Oh, kangaroos. Got him. Good shot, Sergeant. <laughs> Boy, there's something up there in a tree. Toby! Where's he gone? Toby! Blimey! They think he's trying to run away. Stop him! I'll get him back. Come on! No! No! I think he went that way! I'm not going to hurt you. Gotcha. Ooh, ow. Sharp claws you got there, fella. I'll just get you down. See if you're all right. That's good. You're all right. You're a funny little chap. But I'm afraid they killed your mother. Don't you worry. I'll look after you. It's Toby. You've gone mad or something. We gotta get back. Come on, quick. I was just. Hey, what's that you've got there? Baby kawaii.
father. Bully and Weasel killed the mother. <laughs> Don't move, Master Toby, eh? And the old pickpocket. You're in real trouble now. Thought you'd run away when we wasn't looking, eh? No, we didn't. Escaping from lawful custody. <laughs> This'll cost you a couple more years apiece. Sergeant, we was only... Shut up, Corporal. Round up the other three. Take them all back to camp. And you, boy, get rid of that animal. But it's only a baby. Get rid of it, I said. <coughs> dear, oh dear. <coughs> Poor old bush animals always get the worst of it. No, take it easy. I'm not going to hurt you. Happier up a tree anyway. Will you look at that? It isn't enough to feed a little sparrow. Aye, and the same colour as the water in a duck pond. Same water, but no ducks. Oh, I don't want any more. I'm turning in. Dipper, how are you bearing up? All right, Jack. I'll get there. Just got to take it a bit easy, that's all. I'm hearing things. Music. Toby, stop dreaming about that little koala. Listen, music. Oh, yes, music. What is it, Dipper? A watch, Toby. Only it plays a tune, too. Me father's favourite. It's the only possession. I like the music. Dipper, you old devil. Who'd you pinch it from me? Oh, you're wrong there, Jack. I've been stealing things for 50 years. Thousands of things I must have picked. But this watch? No. It belonged to me dad. He gave it to me before he died. I was just a kid. Like you, Toby. No, no. I never pinched this. the wings of a turtle dove. I'd soar on my pinion so high. And leave Sergeant Bully and Weasel Face. And into the mountains I'd fly. Uh, that's not the right words. Leave off, Jack Dolan. <laughs> Too early for singing. Wake up, you lazy lot. Five minutes. Morning parade. Morning, my good man. I'll have an egg. Soft boiled. A slice of toast. And tea with two sugars. What? And tell the butler to run me bath. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Oh, hey, look. It's the baby koala. How did... <laughs> oh, will you look at that? <laughs> round. Uh, round. <laughs> He's uh, drunk. What will we do with the drunken sailor? What will 
we do with a drunken sailor? What will we do with a drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Look. What? What? I wonder how he got here. I don't know. Don't you that? <laughs> Intelligent little creature. Knew you liked him and followed you home. <laughs> if Bully finds out, he'll, he'll kill it. I'll keep him inside my shirt. How will you feed him? Gum leaves. They eat gum leaves. Can I get some for him, Toby? C can I? Out. Everybody out. On the double. Look lively. Fresh air won't do you no harm. No. Healthy it is. <laughs> You're right there. Oh, look, even the brat's filling out a bit. Getting a bit of a chest on him. Right. Line up. Governor's inspection. Here comes his nibs. Toby! Toby! Look! I've got the gum leaves! Oh, good heavens, boy! What's all this about? It's gum leaves, sir, for lunch. I know the rations aren't much, but gum leaves for lunch? Not my lunch, the koalas. Hmm. Koala? Oh, I see. Disobeying orders, eh? I told you to throw that animal away. I say, what on earth is that? That is a native bear. The Aboriginals call it a koala. You can hold him, sir, if you like. Ah, no! Take it away, boy. It's certain to bite me. Heavens, <laughs> it smells of gum leaves. A koala eats gum leaves. That's all it ever eats, sir. Never heard of such a thing. What are you going to do with it? Keep it, sir, if I may. The gods killed its mother when they went shooting kangaroos. I see. Yes, uh, yes, boy, you may keep it. Shooting kangaroos? Uh, well, sir. Yesterday, sir, when the sergeant and corporal here went herring off into the bush on a bit of a hunt. Oh, the guards? Every last one of them, sir. A proper lonely we was. No one to look after us. Is this true, sergeant? Uh, yes, sir, but... Wasting precious ammunition, behaving like hooligans, leaving the convicts un... Guarded? Disgraceful! Sir! Report to the guardhouse tonight! And get those chains off the boy! Yes, sir! I'll get you! You wait! I'll get you! All around my hat I will wear the green willow and all around my hat for twelve months and a day, and if anyone should ask me the reason why I'm wearing it, it's all for my true love, who's far, far away. That's very pretty, my dear. Really very sweet, but too unhappy. Why don't you cheer up a little? Can't help it, ma'am. Silly child. Of course you can. Do you think I like it here? I'm in the same situation that you are. Thousands of miles from home, no friends, the heat, this terrible country. If only I'd listened to my mother. It's not that, ma'am. It's me cupboard totally. I'm so worried to pass him. And be George, too. Such a lovely man. Really, Polly? Why you should worry your head about the criminal classes is beyond me.
to old Dipper. You're not helping no one, boy. Keep working, do you hear? Keep working. Dipper, come here. I'll finish it off for you. Stand back. Let him rest, Sergeant. He's too old for... Corporal! Dipper can't do it. That tree could drop anywhere. Shut up, you. And get back. Get moving, Dipper. <sighs> Do you know what you're doing, man? Hold your tongue, Doolan. Oh. Dipper, don't! Dipper, the tree! Dipper, run! Toby, no! Dipper! Come on, lend a hand. Easy, Dipper. We'll get you out of there. Just hang on. <laughs> Quick! Get that end up! Hold it! Not high enough, George. A little bit more. <laughs> Come on now. Don't worry, old chap. You're all right now. We'll have you home soon. Delightful, madam, delightful. I do declare, Lady Lightfoot, I have never heard anyone else in the colony play the piano as exquisitely as you. Flatterer. Of course you haven't, since this is the only piano in New South Wales. Augusta, please. You know that gives me a headache when I'm trying to look after this disaster of a colony. Clothes in rags, shoddy tools that fall to pieces when you pick them up, the convicts too weak to work properly, more sickness and injury every day. Oh, tea. I need a cup of tea. Where is that girl? Polly? Hey, ma'am. Of course, tea girl. Don't I have tea every night? Did you bring the master's fruitcake and the cream? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Polly. You see, Lindsay, she's a sweet thing. I told you we needed her. And the food's nearly all gone. The salt meat's rotting in the storehouses. Look at this report. Rats! Rats have eaten all our grain. Our last supply. Gone! Gone! The colony's doomed. Doomed. We'll all starve to death. Of course we will, dear. Here, have a slice of fruitcake and some cream. It will make you feel better. Feel better, Governor? <laughs> Why not? There's a lot of people in this colony who would like that piece of fruitcake with that cream on it. It would make them feel better, I tell you. Much better. Isn't it always the way in this world? There are those who have everything and those who have nothing. Those who rule and those who obey. I mean, out there, the men and women who are building this colony, what do they get to eat? Bread and water, if they're lucky. And look who gets the cake and cream. It's a funny old world. Well, I suppose we must look on the bright side. I mean, after all, things can't get much worse. I'm afraid they can, sir. One of the convicts was badly injured today. Those great ruffians? How could you hurt one of them? This one's just a little chap. Henry! The surgeon says he won't live, sir. <gasps> Polly, my last china teapot. <laughs> I'm 
under there. There's a bag. I've got it. The watch. Take it out. Give it to me. Reminds me of the happy times. Back home it was. Poor old Dipper. He's dying, you know. That's the way it was in these convict settlements. There were no doctors and no decent hospitals. No way to save you. My dad, he had... He had these wooden dolls. And they danced, see? Dance on a plank. He sat on the corner of Bevington Bush, astride of an old packing case. And the dolls on the end of the plank were dancing as he sang with a smile on his face. Mm -hmm. Come day, go day, wishing me hard for Sunday. Drinking buttermilk all the week, whiskey on a Sunday. No, I'll sing it. Sing it with me next time. Just a bit. His tired old hands banged the wooden plank, and the dolls they danced the gear. It was a much better show than you ever would see at the Pivy or the New Brighton Pier. Mm -hmm. Wishing me hard for Sunday, drinking buttermilk all the week, whiskey on a Sunday. But then came the day old said Davy died, and his song was heard no more. Plank went to men some back door, and all the kids had come. Seth Davies here, they call out. Seth Davy. That was his name. Seth. Oh yes. And the dolls dancing. Just shut me eyes, I can hear old Seth singing to me brothers and me. Cold is day, wishing me hard for Sunday. Drinking buttermilk all the week, whiskey on a Sunday. Wishing me hard for Sunday, drinking buttermilk all the week, whiskey on the Sunday. Take it. No, Dipper, I couldn't. I want you to have it, Toby. I never had no son to pass it on to. Take it. Oh, Dipper. A lifetime. And it's the only thing I've got left. One day, you'll be free. And then, then...
I'll tell you one thing, George, my old friend. Jack Doolan's not going to end up like poor old Dipper there. All I need's a good horse, and I'm off. It's a wild country. I'm a wild boy. I'll be all right. You know, I'll give you a hand any time. Just say the word. Stop, you blue Sergeant. Bellowing like an old bull will frighten her off. Horses are only human, you know. Come here, girl. Come on. Easy. Easy now. Jack's got away with horses. Get back to work. Stupid beast. When I get you back to town, I'll flash the living daylights out of you. See if I don't. Now. I know what... Oh, look at it! Falling to bits! How can I work with this rubbish? Oi! What are you doing there? Call these tools! We're supposed to use this! There! Ah. Stop that! And this! Blimey! He's gone mad! Stop him! Won't you this? Back! Oh, how? What are you doing? Hold him! Look at it! Rock. Hold him, I said! Come on, George! Oh, good on him! George! <laughs> now, why would you do a thing like that? <laughs> I know why you did it! Hey! Oh, no. He fooled you. He... What's the fool talking about? Wait a minute. Hey. My horse. Doolan. Doolan's escaped on my horse. You. You planned this. You and Doolan. Really done it now. Aiding a convict to escape. Involving theft of government property. Willful destruction of government stores. Oh, you're going to regret this, my lad. the same. Flog Big George, put him in jail, and Jack Doolan's run off, and Dipper, poor kind Dipper, killed. No one left now, except you, Koala. You're my only friend. Koala? That's silly. You need a proper name. I know. I'll name you after Big George. How about Little George? Oh, no. Suppose you're a girl. Can't call you you. 
come eat you. You. Yo-yo. Yo-yo, that's a good one. Yo-yo. Yo-yo the koala. Oh, good night, Yo-yo. They catch you. They haven't caught me yet, Big George. Oh, Polly. Polly? You shouldn't have come here. It's much too dangerous. I brought you some food, George. You're a good girl, Polly. I've got to get out of here. But how? If only Jack Dolan was here, he'd get me out. I'll find him and bring him back. We'll get you out. Simple. Don't be silly, Toby. You can't do that, lad. Oh, yes, I can. Listen, Polly, I'll have to take this food with me. I'll leave him now. I'll have him back here in no time. Toby, don't do it. You'll get lost. You'll die out there. Toby! parents he was born in castle main he was his father's only son his mother's pride and joy and dearly did his parents love the wild colonial boy so come along me hearties and we'll roam the mountains high together we will plunder and together we will die we'll wander over valleys and we'll gallop over plains for we scorn to live in slavery, bound down by iron chains. That's it, fella. If I don't find some food soon, I'm done for. This? It's a fight you want, is it? Come on, then. I'm ready for you. Hey, now the eh? Get out of Get away! Help! Help! I suppose it is a bit silly, isn't it? Friends, hello, uh, uh, my name's Toby. Name it in Oh? Does that mean hello? I'm Toby. 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 Toby? Toby? Warunga. Warunga? Funny sort of name. Warunga. Hmm. But I suppose Toby must sound a bit funny, too. Yo-yo! <coughs> Here, you can hold him. <coughs> hey, watch him. Let's go, let's go. Well, look at that. Oh, 
I'm starving. Uh, Warunga, have you got any food? You know, food. Something to eat. Ah, you. Don't know what I'm going. What? Uh, no, Warunga. You don't understand. I'm hungry. Food, not wood. Nanga, eh? What's that? Food? Quit on that. Let you know. Hey, that was good. Mmm, tasted like nuts. Something to make you laugh. Your bread ration. Big George, eh? Not so big now, are you? What's happened to all your friends? Old Dippers kicked the bucket. Jack Doolan escaped. And now, the brat. <laughs> You'll be laughing on the other side of your face one day, bully boy. Oh, the water. I nearly forgot the water. Here it comes now. Whoa! Oh, what a shame. Sorry, Big George. I'll get you some more. Tomorrow. You saved my life. You showed me how to find food and water. Move over. I can help. Wakuru, wakuru. What? Wakuru, wakuru. Wakuru, wakuru. What's that? Does it mean good? Wakuru, wakuru. Wakuru, wakuru. Wakuru, wakuru. It means good. Wakuru, wakuru. Wakuru, wakuru. You're amazing, Wurunga. I didn't think there was any food for miles. You seem to know everything. Oh, Wurunga, you might have seen Jack Doolan. He's riding a horse. You know, like this. Yeah. Yo yo. come back in this dreadful country. Flies, bush rangers, snakes. Sunday rise, he bring in the morning. Sunday rise, bring in the morning. Flutter in the skirts all around.
Pour toi. Don't like it, then. Hey, what do you mean? I reckon somebody's on to us. <sighs> you mad? No. That campfire we found, and all those hoof prints. Worse luck for them, eh? Ain't no one gonna come snooping round our camp and stay alive. Come on! Hup. Young Toby Nelson. Good to see you, lad. And this is my friend, Wurunga. Hello there. Jack, we thought it was the bush rangers come back again. Ah, yes. Nasty fellows, those. I keep out of their way, they keep out of mine. <laughs> Hello, little fella. So, in charge is locked up, and I'm the only one who can get him out. Is that it? Yes, Jack. Please. <laughs> of course I'll help. Oh, can we leave now? No. Need a horse for you and Warunga. Hmm. Got it. What? Those two bush rangers. When I whistle, you start rolling these little beauties down on their camp. Get Big George out of jail. Why not? Toby, what's that? It's a boomerang. A what? A boomerang. The throwing. Wurunga, show Jack how it works. You know, throw it. Ah. He's throwing it away after all that work. No, watch. Hey! <laughs> That's amazing. Can he hit anything with it? You mean, like a person? Yes. A person about the size of Bully. <laughs> <laughs> now. Could you, could you, could you, could you? Get Big George out. Won't it now? You'll wait and see. Toby, stack those oil barrels over near the door. Careful, it's slippery stuff. <laughs> 
easier to handle now. But we still need the jail keys. Bully always carries them in his coat pocket. <laughs> I can get them. <laughs> what should we do with a drunken sailor? Go on. Go and dance. <laughs> Good boy. Boy. Look at that. Blimey. A dancing bear. Men of the New South Wales Regiment, the 
My dear, if you'd only listen to your mother. And then Jack Dillman came back with me, and Warunga there with all his animals. Hmm. As easy as that. Well, it wasn't easy, sir. I believe you, boy. Indeed, I do. But you realize you still broke the law. You and your friends? Yes, sir, but... Wait. Since you risked your lives to save Lady Lightfoot, you will not be punished for escaping. Hmm. Instead, you will all be given your freedom and a grant of land to start your own farms. We're free! Polly, Big George, we're free! Hooray! Warunga? 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 Oh. He's gone, Polly. Don't worry, Tappy. We'll find him. We have to. He's my best friend. He, he saved me life. And as for you, Sergeant Langdon... <laughs> There's the story. Bully was thrown into jail for being found drunk on duty. <laughs> and the ironic thing was, he was put into Big George's old cell. It's sort of... Poetic justice, isn't it? 
it's not good. <laughs> of course, all that happened a long, long time ago. Oh, look at the sign, my love. We must be going. Oh. Is that really true about Toby? Yeah. You must remember that as well as Toby and all his friends, there were hundreds and hundreds of other convicts who were also sent out, men and women. And they helped to build this country. Them in some back door. Come day go day, wishing me heart for Sunday, drinking buttermilk all the week, whiskey on the Sunday. <laughs> 